Dave Sack here again, Commissioner of AB4 Loco. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, just wanted to give a quick update on where we're at as far as the status of the league, what I've got done, what I still have to do. Uh, I've been really hard at work for the last month or so, month and a half, on getting these bylaws finished. Finally got that done. Uh, we are up, ready to go with the registration form. Uh, posted a tweet last week at Ron Dynasty on Twitter. Uh, you can find the bylaws registration form and my commissioner account at AD4 Grandmaster. Time to start filling the league. We're, we've got a waiting room going, about 30 guys in there so far. Uh, this is a 90 team league, so lots of room left. I want to get really good, solid owners in there. A lot of work left to do. Uh, here, look at this. Here's a peek at my to-do list. <laughs> Quite the, quite the list of things you left to do. A lot of spreadsheets being created for this league, uh, different things. I didn't really like the way MFL handled some of the tournaments that I wanted to run, so I created sp uh, spreadsheet brackets that'll update on all of that. A couple of the all-play uh, tournaments that we have and contests, I have spreadsheets created for that. All the bankroll stuff, different things I want to track for progressive pots, things like that. The team affiliations, different things that qualify you for Champions League all sorts of stuff so I'm, I'm hard at work right now creating all the spreadsheets needed for the league to track everything uh, we are slated to begin next year uh, try to have the league officially ready to go um, January 2022 for the 2022 season uh, before that though I want to try to get you guys into the league on the, the league discord my plan is, shout out to Billy Stitz with his bookie league that he has. Uh, he created a league with a bankroll and a vampire element, and he has the owners betting on things prior to the startup kicking off. And they can use the money they gained extra as more startup funds, and he allows them to buy an extra couple hundred bankroll with a set amount, and that extra money goes to the charity donation. So I want to get that started. It uh, doesn't seem right to get that started until we're at least half full. I'd like to be 60 plus teams probably before I allow teams to start betting on things. Um, betting is one thing I wanted to talk about here in this video. The Discord chat, I have a bot installed that uh, runs an economy. and You can trade the funds that the bot manages. And so all of our betting can happen right in the Discord chat. Uh, there's also some gambling features installed. Uh, different jackpot things. I've got some ideas for a league lottery. A lot of stuff I still have to work on and iron out the details, uh, but check out the bylaws. A couple things with the website that I still need to get worked out, the bylaws being one of those things. I have everything easy to find, easily searchable, and here, take a peek at this, this league bylaws page sitting down at the laptop. It's not too bad, pretty manageable. You can scroll through things and find stuff without too much trouble. Mobile site, complete disaster. This is not usable. Can't use this at all. Can't find anything. Can't hardly read anything. So at the top of the bylaws page, I did include a link to the Google document at least. Hopefully that'll work. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet on the CSS side of things as far as the league layout and how to do the bylaws. Uh, but that's stuff you guys don't need to worry about. So biggest thing I wanted to talk on is work is still being done. Hard at work. Finally bylaws registration form finished. Let's get you guys into the league, okay? Um, you're going to read this a lot in the bylaws and the registration form. This league isn't for everybody. I'm starting to fill now, March 25th of 2021, when the league doesn't start till January 2022, because first of all, we need 90 owners that want to play college and NFL fantasy football, but I want 90 really good owners. To be in this league, you really need to contribute. You need to be active. You need to be doing something to contribute to the community. And being a guy that just sits in the league chat muted and only paying attention to commissioner announcements is just not going to cut it here. Um, I want to find the best owners I can. I want it to be the best league that all 90 owners are in. I want it to be amazing. I want it to be something that people are proud of being a part of, something that they helped contribute. So I don't want to make this too long. State of the league address. <laughs> the first one. Uh, tell your friends, get signed up, read through the bylaws, fill out the registration form, and uh, let's get you into that waiting room so we can get things started. Thanks, guys.